Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at solving for the area that falls between two points on the curve and we're going to use Minitab to do it. At six months old, an English Bulldog puppy weighs on average 30 pounds with a standard deviation of four pounds. If the weights of the puppies are normally distributed, what's the probability that a puppy will weigh between 24 and 35 pounds? So visually, we're solving for that area between those two values of x on the curve. So I'm over here in Minitab, and before I get started, I've got something I've got to do. I've got to set up my columns. So I'm going to put x in one, and then I'm going to want it to store my probabilities in the other. So we had two values, and we said we were between 24 and 35 pounds. So I've got, you've got to do this part first in order to make this part work. I'm going to calc, I'm going to my probability distributions, I'm going up top and I'm going to grab normal. So we knew that the mean was 30, the standard deviation was 4, and now I'm going to use the input column. I'm going to put my cursor here and it's going to say, oh, your values of x are in C1. And I'm going to say, yes, thank you very much. Please store them in C2, the probability of x. And I'm going to hit OK. So what this actually gives me is the probability of x being less than or equal to 24 and less than or equal to 35. And the way that that cumulative distribution function works, we know that we have overlap. So the to isolate the area between those two values, you have to subtract the two probabilities, right, or the two areas. Minitab isn't in love with doing math, so I'm going to force it to do it by coming back up to my calc and going to column statistics. And what I want it to do is I want it to give me the range, because the range is simply the difference between two values, and I would say, give me the range right, or the difference between the two values that are in the probability of x. And I hit OK. And when I get that range of 0.827543, what I know is that's actually the area under the normal curve that falls between 24 pounds and 35 pounds based on my mean and my standard deviation. So you can kind of fool it right, to subtract those two numbers because that's really all the range is. So as always, I hope that you found this useful and that you'll be able to let Minitab do some of the work for you. As always, I thank you so much for watching.